and turned a trip to the police office into a chance to steal some Christmas joy by taking a speaker playing holiday music from the Avon Police Department's lobby. Unbelievable. News 8 Travis Robinson has all the details on the not so very well thought out plan. Yeah, Phil, this uh, it wasn't anything crazy, though. Just one of those little tiny Bluetooth speakers, yeah. not anything more than $45 here. But uh, police say it's not about what the man stole, but the blatant disrespect to the officers and the community as a whole. The entire incident was, of course, caught on camera. The man entered the police station trying to get his impounded car back. This was his second time in after police say he didn't bring all the forms he needed the first time. While he waited, he took a look at the speaker that had been set up underneath the lobby chairs, placed it next to him in the seat, and then on his way out, scooped it up, making a quick exit from the building. Went to sync up to the speaker and there was no music, so she thought something may have happened to the speaker. So she went out to check it on it and it was gone. Now since the man filled out paperwork and the room was heavily monitored, it was pretty easy for police to figure out who he is. 43-year-old Quana Gilbert. Police issued a warrant for Gilbert's arrest, tracked him down, and got their man and the missing speaker, but no answer as to why it happened. Something like this, a very inexpensive speaker, I don't know. I, only he knows the answer to that. Um, but one thing's for certain, we just, we're not going to allow that to, to happen here. Avon police say this entire incident isn't about the speaker. They've got it back and it's actually sitting in their Christmas tree right now. But they say it's about coming in and making a safe place feel unsafe. So police say if anyone feels like messing with their safe community and their work environment, they want this incident to be a message. We really want to send a strong message to anyone that might think about coming here and vandalizing, stealing, break our windows, tear up our monument, whatever it might be. Um, we're we're going to do everything we can to try to catch you. Now, police say Gilbert was booked into Hendricks County Jail this morning, and he'll be there until he either bonds out or his next court appearance, which police estimate will be Monday. I'm Travis Robinson, Wish TV News 8.